I want you to do something. I want you to print this screen of my uh, thumbnail on this video and paste it up adjacent to your computer screen at home and look at it every day because what it is showing you is the history of five stocks, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, and Google over the last 15 years. And then I, it highlights the what happened in 2008 and those numbers are very comparative to what happened in 2022 to these five stocks. But then look what happened in 2009 and what's happening in 2023. They are rebounding at exponential levels in the first four months of this year. Since January through May, this is the kind of returns. Look at NVIDIA. They're up 94%. Why is that? And that it, it, it is because the... The market has recognized that as a result of artificial intelligence and synthetic biology, NVIDIA is going to be the driving force that is going to take all the new data that is being for brought forward to us through artificial intelligence and giving us a way to manage it. I want to go into this in this video. Again, I want you to do several things. I want you to uh, get a screenshot of this uh, thumbnail and, and keep it. Then what I want you to do is like this video, because if you will like this video in the first two minutes of the video, Google will say, we need to share this with more people. Then I want you to subscribe to, the, the, to my channel. If you'll do that, again, Google, if YouTube will say, this is something we need to share with the world. And I want to get a million people on the same page you are right now with this same chart next to their computer so they have a vision of what's going in the future. Now, this is not financial advice. This is financial education. And I'll tell you right after this how this is going to happen. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. I hope by this point you understand what artificial intelligence is. I hope by this point you have used ChatGPT or you have used Google's versions uh, BARD. And if you've done that, you're starting to get a feeling as to what the world is going to look like. That, that judges who have uh, assistants to write papers for them will now use either ChatGPT or they will use uh, BARD to do that. That will actually eliminate jobs, but it will open up a whole new world of jobs. Then I want you to watch my videos on synthetic biology and come to an understanding. Look at the problem that, that is facing right now. Over the last 40 years, we have filled uh, data farms uh, for, for Microsoft and, and Apple and Google and Amazon that have stored all the data that we've accumulated over the last 40 years. Now, now to ask yourself, what is artificial intelligence going to do for the needs for processing more data as we then go into general learning and these these computers start learning and artificial intelligence start learning for themselves and they generate even more data. How is that going to be managed? Well, it's going to be managed by putting DNA, our, our, what holds our bodies together, on a computer chip. Whose computer chip is that going to go on? That's going to go on NVIDIA's. Now you understand why NVIDIA in the first four, uh, four months of this year is up 94% in its price because they are going to be lead, lead us into this new world of uh, artificial intelligence assisted by synthetic biology. And the synthetic biology is going to take you into places you can't even imagine. I just, I deplore you to go into the description, find the link that takes you to this book. If you And the best way to do it is to sign up for Audible so that you can upload this on your phone, take a walk in, in the park for 14 hours and listen to this book and understand it. And if you only read two pages in this book, read pages 100 to 102, and it will explain to you how all the data that we have gathered is going to be fit into two one-gallon 
of milk jugs. That's right. It's going to be condensed into that through the use of synthetic uh, DNA put on an NVIDIA chip. And this will be assisted by a company by the name of Twist. Uh, it's all in my past videos. It is why NVIDIA is up 94% thus far this year. It's why Amazon's up 23%. It's why Microsoft is up 28%. And you can see the other numbers. These are going to be the companies that are going to take this new technology, this new science, and bring it to us and make it available to us. So when I say to you, you can invest in these five companies and expect an annual rate of return of 35% per year, I am confident with it because I know what's coming and I can look at past history and it will tell me that is what has happened in the past and it gives me an indication of what is going to happen in the future. So that's my take to you. Again, I am going to ask you, hit your print screen, Make a copy of this and use it as your guide. And then every, every month, go look at what is the return on these five stocks year to date and see if on, uh, you, this is through May 1st, see if in June 1st, this number doesn't go up. Okay, and then July 1st, see if it doesn't continue to go up and become your own guide as to where to invest in the future. For me, 50% of my, comp my investments are in this category, the big tech category. I will then go and put into a, a, a more aggressive position, not as big of an investment, companies like Twist, and Grinko, companies I talked to you about in yesterday's video when I asked Bard, where is the future of artificial intelligence? Where is the future of synthetic biology? Watch that video, watch my past 10 videos, and you'll see how to invest in the future. But again, I need you to like this video, I need you to subscribe, and then if you want to get even in more depth, come join our tribe, go into the description, find our Discord, come to our Friday Stock Talks, and we'll talk more about this. And we'll may turn it into a team sport so that you gather knowledge, I gather knowledge, Fred gathers knowledge, Jane gathers knowledge, and we work together. All right? I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. This is what I do. This is what I enjoy. When Warren Buffett said the other day at, on his interview with uh, Becky Quick and Squawk Box, I read six hours a day uh, to keep myself abreast. And I said, only six? Warren, come on. I do more than that. I read a book. I go for a walk in the park with my audible in my ears, and I learn, as well as stay healthy. Okay, that's what I need from you. You know what you need from me. Let's work together, and let's talk again tomorrow.